So I am very excited to finally feature Squale here on my channel. Today I have two watches to show you. One is a white dial, one is a black dial. They are both the Sub 3920 Corso Italiano limited editions in collaboration with Water Watches. Water Watches are a small boutique brand out of Korea and they actually made these watches with Squale from the ground up. They designed these watches with Squale from the ground up. Now I said that I have two different watches here. One is the white dial, one is the black dial. They come in different packaging and uh, both are very, very nice. So the white dial comes in a leather package. Uh, inside you get all the typical stuff that you get with the watch. You have a warranty card and a booklet in here. This one comes on a NATO strap and has a white dial as I mentioned. It's a little bit different from the black version. The black version actually comes on a leather strap and it comes in a wood box. This is a Hinoki wood box that's actually handmade in Japan and it fits one watch inside so you could use this as a one watch carrier. It's actually pretty cool and uh, since it's a wood box this will age just like leather would age if you were using it throwing it in a bag and things like that it'll scratch up so it will patina with time. Um, a really nice touch and it's a beautiful box. It's actually one of the nicest carrying cases that I've ever seen uh, a watch come in from any price range. And I have to say that is the truth. It is pretty damn cool. Uh, it comes in this little tab. As you can see, the watch just sits on there. Uh, and they actually went the extra mile. I mean, they didn't even put it on the pin. They uh, sort of put it right through uh, on, the, uh, on the strap so it doesn't make a mark on the strap. I really like that sort of attention to detail. Uh, they care about even packaging the watch so that you get it in basically pristine condition. Very, very nice. Now, uh, let me quickly zoom in so we can take a closer look at these watches. So here you have it. We have a white dial and we have a black dial. Now, there are some really small differences between the two. Besides the obvious strap differences, there is a price difference. So this is a $1,499 watch while this is a $1,599 watch. This actually has smaller indices than the black dial, just slightly smaller. They get the exact same case, the exact same crown, uh, the exact same case back. One is limited to 300 pieces, that is the white dial, and the black dial is limited to 500 pieces. There is also a slight difference in the bezel. Nothing is really different physically, uh, but there is just a color difference in the triangle. You can see there's a little bit of a sort of a patina triangle on this one, uh, and this one does not get any patina. And the indices on the uh, white dial is more of a modern color, while the indices and the uh, bezel is sort of a little bit of a patinaed color, uh, sort of like a patinaed uh, loom, basically, is what they've used on here, and this does not get it. This, I believe, is BGW9 on both of them. It's an old radium on the black dial. Now, this is a sub 39. It's called the sub 3920, and obviously, it takes a lot of inspiration from the 50 Fathoms cases from the 1950s, 1960s, and 70s. I actually own one of those watches. I own a Waltham Bathyscoff, which is a very very similar case to this watch. And ironically, I don't have that watch on today. Uh, and I would love to show you guys that watch side by side with these watches because it is very, very similar. Now, the case on this is 39 millimeters. However, at the bezel, it's about 40.5 millimeters. So this is the exact same case on both watches. So the white and black dial are exactly the same. You get the exact same crown, as I mentioned. Uh, I believe it is around 6.7 millimeters. Uh, and then you get at the case, so it's 40.5 at the, or 40.6 at the bezel. At the case, you're getting a true 40, uh, 39 millimeter. So it's like 38.8, 38.9 is what I've measured. So that's what it measures at the actual case. So it's basically 39 millimeters at the case, a little bit larger at the bezel. So it does wear like a 40 millimeter. Uh, and then the lug to lug on here is a very nice lug to lug of about 47 millimeters, I want to say. And you get 47.7 millimeters and it's cut off lugs on here. The style of the lugs are sort of cut off. Um, and the, the whole point of this case, it's sort of a layered case. So you can see that bezel edge 
is what actually sticks out. Then there's like sort of a mid area. Everything is polished along the side of the case. It's finished really well, like you would expect from Squally. Squally do a really good job uh, finishing their cases. They do a very good job overall on all of their watches, but this is actually a, a really interesting looking case. And like I said, they sort of designed this from the ground up, but obviously they took a lot of inspiration from those watches, specifically a watch that I believe Squally recently came out with from uh, the Amsterdam watch company, which was essentially a 35 millimeter version of this watch. It was very, very similar to this watch. However, that was a 35 millimeter watch. It was also a case, just the case, the mid case that actually came from, uh, I think it was old stock and it was actually a, a 50 fathoms case. It was an actual 50 fathoms case um, and bezel. However, those sold out and they, uh, they sold out pretty much immediately. I think they only had like 60 cases or 80 cases, something like that. Um, and then they started selling for around $5,000 on eBay pretty much immediately because uh, they were a pretty cool watch. So this is very similar to that watch. Um, and the only difference is, is that this is in a way more wearable size for a modern wrist, I would say. Uh, 39 millimeters, I think, is a really good sweet spot, even though this wears like a 40 millimeter because of the bezel size. Speaking of the bezel, it is extremely grippy. Because it is larger than the case, it is really easy to grip. And it's really nice action. So they both get, obviously, very similar action. There you go. Feels really good and sounds very nice. Very grippy crown, sort of the same effect because you're getting like a diamond shaped crown as you can see. Uh, so to grip the crown, it is very, very easy. Uh, you just have these notches that go all the way around the crown. Uh, feels really good, very easy to grip. You get a sapphire crystal. Both of them get matte dials and then you get a K1 mineral crystal in the bezel. So that is a mineral crystal in the bezel versus a sapphire. The sapphire is uh, sort of a boxed and domed sapphire, very vintage looking, meant to obviously look like a vintage acrylic crystal. I really do like this watch. Um, this watch comes on a beautiful strap. It is a US made Horween leather strap, but it's so nice. And I just wanna put this aside for a second so I could show you this strap in really good detail. You could see that it is thin. It's sort of green on the underside. Uh, it's just a very, very simple vintage inspired strap. And I like what they did here. Uh, usually when you get a Horween strap, they try and go really thick on it because they want it to look, I don't know, thicker and, and more robust or whatever it is. This is beautiful. It's soft. You don't need to break this in it will work the moment you put it on your wrist. And also, like I said, they paid attention to the detail. They put a Tropic um, buckle on here. Now the Tropic buckle, obviously they weren't able to actually get these because uh, they were no longer being made. So what they did was they had a company recreate this and actually put the word ACR on the bottom, A-C-I-E-R, uh, to represent or make a, a, like a replica of those vintage buckles and it looks really good. I really love the strap on this. It's one of the highlights of the watch. Um, just it looks and feels as good as it looks right now on this screen. I think it looks amazing. Uh, I think this watch looks amazing. It is really right up my alley, especially the black dial. As you guys know, I love black dial watches. I think the white dial is beautiful, just as beautiful, but I always go for the black dial. It's just who I am. Um, screwed in case back just says Squale. I'll, I'll do a uh, photo of that so you guys can see it. Uh, just really nicely uh, executed, very nicely finished. Everything is really very nice on this watch. Now I mentioned this one is $1,500. This one is $1,499. Not sure why there's a price difference. They both get an ETA movement, the ETA 2824. Uh, and I, I like to mention that because it is important that they have an ETA movement. It's not a Salida. They kind of went the extra mile and got the Eta movement. Not that it makes a huge difference, but it kind of does at the same time. This one comes on a NATO strap. It's a very high quality uh, seatbelt NATO, but it is a double pass through. As you guys know, I'm not a huge fan of that. 300 meters of water resistance. You're getting an Eta 2824. Uh, 
And also, I believe that they use spring bars. I think I read this on their website that they use spring bars from Everest. So they actually bought the spring bars from Everest bands uh, because they believe that those are the closest to uh, Rolex quality, which is pretty incredible. I'm gonna take a look at the spring bars. I wanna check them out. Uh, and see if they are as good as, as they say they are. I think that's pretty interesting that they actually thought about every single detail. Very, very interesting. Uh, but like I said, I'm gonna do a full review on these. Uh, let's do a loom shot really quickly, but let me show you them on my wrist, and then we will do a loom shot. I'm gonna show you the watch that I have on today. Today, I have on another diver from the 50s. This is the 1957 Trilogy Seamaster. Uh, and you can see the case. Again, it's not the Sabino case, it's not the exact same case, but it is definitely uh, very, very similar to the case on this watch, on this watch right here. You can see the bezel is just a little bit bigger on here, so it does look visually bigger, but this is a 39 millimeter or 38 and a half millimeter watch. Um, and this is basically a 40 millimeter watch because of that bezel. Uh, but it does look a little bit bigger, but not much, much bigger. But you get those sort of uh, turned lugs on here, same sort of case design. Uh, this has a layered case, very similar, again, to this watch. You have those cutoff lugs. You see that? Really cool. Uh, I just really love this watch. I think this, on this strap, it's very comfortable. Uh, I am very excited to wear this. I can't wait to wear it. And usually I try not to wear the watch before I do a review because I don't want to, you know, scratch a watch before I actually review it. But I did wear this just for a few hours around the house uh, while I was working and it is beautiful. It's just really comfortable um, and a very good looking watch. So uh, let's throw the white on my wrist. Now I said I don't like NATO straps. I don't like double pass through NATO straps. That's just something that is more personal to me. On this NATO strap, it does look good, I have to say. It looks really good. Um, but if I were to get this, I would definitely have to get it on a, in a uh, leather strap. I'm more of a leather strap guy, and uh, this leather strap is pretty insane. It's really nice. Uh, but very good looking, uh, very good looking strap, very good looking watch. Uh, all around, I think these are really awesome. 39 millimeters, really like a 40 millimeter watch they wear like. Uh, but it fits really nice on my seven and a half inch wrist. I just also wanted to show you guys this really quickly. You can see that these guys really love watches. This is from What A Watches. Uh, they sent over this, they sent over, this is Mona Lisa wearing watches. She has a watch roll right there. Obviously, Mona Lisa, a watch collector, very funny. She has that little smirk on her face. Cartier tank, come on, that's hilarious. I, I really like this, this is pretty cool. Uh, I know someone who uh, just recently got a Cartier tank, so they would really like this. It's very, very interesting. Uh, really cool little touches. They also sent over uh, this little robot here. Just cool. I, I really like this. It's just, they love watches, and, you know, that's that shows through, obviously, the packaging and all the attention to detail. So, uh, something I really like. Anyway, very quickly, a loom shot, and then we'll wrap up the video. Like I said, I'll be doing a full review on these watches. Uh, I am very excited about them. So, loom shot. So the loom, a little bit brighter on the white dial, as you can see. That's because this gets the old radium. Uh, I guess that's the reason why it's a little bit dimmer, but uh, it looks really good. Both of the triangles are loomed. This one is very faintly loomed. This one is brightly loomed. Um, I don't wanna say it's more liberally applied on the white dial. It is a little bit better though. Um, just because I guess of the type of loom that they use because they use different looms on both of these dials. This gets BGW9, I believe. Um, and this, I think gets BGW9, but it's old radium. So old radium is uh, obviously meant to look old. It looks good either way. I think these are really good looking watches. I'm very excited to do a, a full review on them, uh, wear them for a little while. Uh, I literally just got them just a few days ago and I wanted to get out the uh, video as soon as possible because um, I'm excited about them and I wanted to tell you guys about them immediately. Uh, as I mentioned, the white dial is limited to 300 pieces, the black dial limited to 500 pieces. Uh, they are both limited editions as I mentioned, so um, if you are interested in them, I will put a link to What A Watch is in the uh, description below. Uh, definitely check out their website. Uh, and check out these watches. I believe that the white dial is not available yet. 
This was just released. I think it was literally just released, the black dial, and the white dial will be released in a few weeks. It says 2022 on their website, uh, but if I have more information about that, I will put it in the description below. Awesome watches, very excited. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. Tell me what you think about Squale. Tell me what you think about these watches. Um, I think they are really designed well. They took really good inspiration on these watches. They have an actual history uh, with cases like this, uh, making them for other watch brands, for Squale themselves. Uh, so that's why they use that uh, sort of inspiration. Uh, and I think it does work well for them. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. I want to hear from you guys. Please also don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon. It is super helpful for the channel, and I very much appreciate it. Please follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is watchchrisblog, all one word. There are links in the description below. Those links are to Amazon. If you click those links and buy anything, it helps support the channel. It doesn't cost you anything extra. However, I very much appreciate it. Anyway, thank you for logging on. I'll catch you guys in the next video.